Hey guys, welcome back to XTA. Today we're going to review Nova. Nova is a replacement launcher for your device that gives you the ability to change the look and feel and customize your device without requiring root. Let's check it out. So what we have here is the Note 4. This is running the stock launcher. Currently have the My Magazine Flipboard on the left. We'll take that away for a second. Uh, we have the ability, you know, obviously, you know, scrolling between different pages. No different than any of the other, uh, you know, stock touch twist devices that you can get nowadays. But what happens if you're not comfortable or you're not happy with the way the interface looks, the way it interacts with you? Um, there are things you could do to change this. Now we're talking about changes that are not requiring root, and this is why we're talking today about Nova. Nova is a launcher replacement. It's a separate launcher that you can download from the Play Store. Recently, it was one of the updates that it received was the ability to give it some more features that are similar to Lollipop. And we'll be able to actually kind of get into that in a second. First and foremost, I just launched the Nova launcher. You can notice that the actual icons and everything kind of changed already. My app drawer is sitting right here. It zooms in at a different rate. It's much faster, smoother. Uh, my widgets actually now show up on here, which we didn't have bef before. What we also have here is importing your settings from a different launcher. By default, Nova allows you to do that. And then it says here, touch with home. I say start. And it starts recognizing some of my icons. Uh, but overall, it brought in our dialer. It brought in the little folder that we had here, hang out the messages that I'm using, the browser, which we need to change, uh, the camera, and you know the app drawer is still running the same way. One of the main benefits of Nova is the ability to be able to customize things down to a very, very low level. Now, Nova isn't set my, as my default browser, uh, actual launcher. I'll just sit here and say always. So from now on, whenever I sit home, it takes me back to Nova. And we'll go into the settings, and I'll show you guys some of the main benefits of having this and making it look closer to the stock as Lollipop would allow us to do. Uh, under look and feel, we go under the icon theme, and I'm choosing out of default when you get uh, Nova. Lollipop is one of the ones that are built into it. You can customize and download additional ones. 444, uh, 444 KitKat is also part of the system. The system, it, it matches whatever the system is, but generally that's generally going to be a touch whiz. The other thing here you have is you can download other theme packs. I have the glass theme pack here, the one that you can download and customize, but we're going to keep it for Lollipop for now. Um, and then you have the ability to you know, set up the rotation, the scrolling speed, the animation. And those are the things that are customizable. And if you download and you do upgrade to Prime, which is the additional feature that you get, and I do have a Prime membership on mine, you're able to get additional features as far as functionalities within actual Nova. And the other reason why you do want to go to a custom launcher is that you can actually swipe down, bring down the notification panel, swipe up, you open up Home, the drawer, double tap, detect into Google Now. Um, you know, you can add gestures, different functionalities within your, your normal interface that you normally don't have. You can customize the grid size. You can customize it to your heart's content. And by default, the grid size already gives me an additional row to add more icons on my home screen so that I don't have to have, you know, a thousand pages open. And you can also customize by pinch to zoom, of course. And if you, you know, pinch out, uh, opens up the actual recent apps. So a lot of the different functionalities that you can, and you can also add Google Now in there if you'd like. But the main benefit you also have is the ability to add the persistent, you know, search that you get normally with Google Now. Nova has a pro version called Nova Prime. That's what I have on my device. As you guys have noticed probably from other videos that I've done, I've actually been using Nova for quite some time. I like the themes, I like the gestures, the functionality of the launcher. I'm also in the beta section on the Google Plus, which allows me to get some of these new features ahead of time. But the reason why we're covering it today is because some of the features that it's adding are mimicking Lollipop, which gives you that more closer to stock look and feel out of your device. Now, it doesn't matter if you have TouchWiz, Sense, um, you know, Sony UI or whatever close to AOSP or close to stock. This will give you control over what you want to do. There are other launchers on the market, of course. I find personally that Nova is one of the better ones. Uh, and again, some of the features that were added are very nice. And by default, it comes with the Lollipop icons that set that you can actually turn on and it'll theme some of your icons without even you having to do anything on that. So let me know what you guys think. What's your favorite launcher? Do you have any questions? Have you tried Nova? This is something that's new. Uh, I personally like it as usual. You know, give me your options and I will definitely try to talk to you guys in the comments below the video. I'm going to give you a link to the actual uh, article that was posted on the uh, XDA portal. I'm also going to give you a link to the actual Google Plus community so you can check out. They have amazing wallpapers. If you've ever seen any of my wallpapers on my device, that's generally where I get them from. So as usual, like and subscribe to this channel, like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys soon.